Alrighty, it's five. So we'll get straight into everything. Um, for everybody who hasn't seen um, or wasn't able to make it in time, um, I'm going to be uploading the full video on my YouTube account. Uh, so for everyone on the YouTube, uh, just to let you know, this is one of my live videos of me building one of my own custom figures myself. I just want you guys to know that um, what I do is not that uh, intricate or crazy. You know, you can make your dreams come true on your own. I know these companies don't always give us what we want. So I just want you to know that if you ever wanted to dive into it, you know, if I was able to do it, you can do it. I'm, I'm nobody. So, all right. Well, as uh, usual, um, I got a standard body coon. Um, I cheated a little bit for my last video. Um, in my last video, I did a custom figure of my Tomura Shigura or Shigaraki. And um, I drilled the head sculpt live on the video. And it took so much time drilling this. So I went and <laughs> already obviously used this as the uh, body. I uh, got this from a DXF statue. Um, if you're looking to make one yourself, uh, definitely try to get one while you can. These are in limited run, these statues. Uh, the one I got didn't even come with a box or anything. Um, but there's only a few that are out there. So get them while you can, because once they're gone, do. I know there are some of you who think the Hunter x Hunter anime is coming back one day, but don't get your hopes up. So, um, but I drilled this live. It took a while. So this time around... I did drill into the head sculpt, but I only drilled in just a little bit, just so that the neck peg, neck peg, this is what's going to come on the body coon. So this is what's going to connect the neck and the uh, head. Um, I just drilled this in a little bit and then just glued it on. Uh, with the regular Gorilla Glue, as always, you already know. So this time, instead of having to drill the whole entire thing, I just drilled just, just a little bit. Um, and then this way, the articulation is better. This one just, like, sits on top, and it, it's not bad. It, it holds on pretty good, but I don't know. It can be a little limited. So, trying something different. But like I said, I cheated. This time around, I drilled the head in, and... This way you guys can see the glue is already dried and everything. Um, but it pegs right into this body. Does it look clear? Or I'm assuming it's like really, uh, I mean, it's alive. Does it look all right? I don't know, like in general. Oh, yeah. My hands. Okay, cool. So here, I'll go ahead and just see if I can get that whatever so you get it <laughs> the neck is gonna peg into the body like that so i just took that same peg drilled it into this from this body and here and it's a tight fit i'm not gonna lie but that's good that's what you want for the figure and i know you guys yeah here we go oh here comes the quick hate it looks weird why does the neck look weird I already put this together. I know what I'm doing. You got to trust the process. So um, it does look a little large um, without the outfit on. But once the outfit is on, it's going to fit a lot better. So, um, but again, standard body coon. Um, I soaked this one in that floor cleaner stuff that I show you guys all the time. Um, and I'm so glad I did that ahead of time because the joints are perfect like there's nothing loose okay, and everything like, you're dumb <laughs> you're dumb you're dumb but yeah so we'll get into everything else so we got a 112 scale jacket i want to say shouts out to the person who helped me put this uh figure together by the way um i put her content out on my story before she gets custom figures, has really good taste, um, but I will, I will make sure in the YouTube video to give her credit. And make sure you to you, uh, check out her page. I really appreciate it. It's thanks to her that I was able to find this one twelve scale uh, suit jacket, I guess. And I have this shirt. Uh, it's one twelve scale, obviously. Uh, it's left over from a custom that I did a while back. 
but I never throw away anything that looks useful. So I held on to this for a while, ended up coming in handy. Um, here, let me grab something. Damn. Dude, it's impossible to find the official ones unless you're gonna pay like over two hundred dollars. But again, I um, let me go grab it real quick. Come on. so take this i'm back what's good so this stuff for these body coons i know they're gonna be like bootlegs or whatever but your best bet is to dip it into some of this the whole figure and your articulation is going to be great. Like, I promise you, it's going to be good. Nothing's going to be loose, you know. But it'll hold whatever position or whatever you need them to be in. So, just something to put out there. But, everything else I got, I haven't figured out another solution. But, this is definitely the best bet so far. But, this is the Dyson Model Karama. Um, I took the feet <laughs> from this figure. Um, they actually peg perfectly into the body coon. Uh, just something that had lying around, but these are the feet that originally come with Karama. Said, Man, I want to make a custom figure, but I need to get a job. I'm weak, yes, yes, definitely. You have to have a job first before you can do any of this. Unless you got a sugar mama, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so, the feet on the body coon. I'm peg. Same bro, peg. You your hollow, you know. Yo, that would be a cool. That would be a cool idea. I could definitely do a review for that. And then AYHS said, the feet were great. Right I think it's Sasuke. Yeah. Where did you get them from? I'm assuming Best Lee take these off the feet then we got a mini laptop because why not you know got a tie got a gun <laughs> oh hot it's a hot gun it's a hot gun safety first and then I got this cell phone. This I'm going to keep myself, but this came from the uh, Todoroki that I'll be reviewing fairly soon. Somebody wants you to show what you use to tighten the body coons. So this is going to be perfect for tightening the body coons. I've bought maybe like three or four of these. And they're super cheap, dirt cheap, like 15 bucks each. You just have to wait for them to get shipped to you. But this stuff will hold all the joints in. You're not going to have any issues, you know. Nothing's loose or whatever. It's going to hold its shape. So, there we go. And again, this is going to be up on my YouTube. So, if you guys need to go back, it'll be out there. Um, and then we got some whiskey. Okay, what? 
the Dungeon Studio said my Obito looks hella short compared to my Shisui and Ichi. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm anymore. weak. I mean, you're pretty close. But I will be making some Star Wars anime easy. Hey, that'd be cool. I'm down to see the content. Um, someone said I ordered the clothes off bestly, but I used a spare head and had a red body for me. I'm weak. Okay, so then I got these pants. Someone asked, where do you order them from? I usually get mine off eBay and they take forever to arrive. Yes, I get all of this from eBay. All of it. Um, but yeah, same here. Uh, that's definitely going to be a downside to doing all this. Um, you have to be prepared, you know, to just be patient. Patience is definitely part of the key. But I prepare. So... Yeah. So these are the pants, uh, the same pants that I use for the Shigaraki and for my Dobby. Again, I got these on eBay also. Um, but these are 112 scale. They're a little bit more designed, so I prefer these more. Let me see if I have some scissors. So uh, last time I had the Shigaraki, I showed you guys I had cut these. It has like a thick line of Velcro, which is cool, but I'm gonna glue mine on once I get it how I want it to look. So I don't need all this. This is gonna get in the way. And shouts out to, um, I think it's Icy something or whatever. He's a YouTube, uh, not YouTube. He's an Instagram Naruto custom figure creator. He makes the, the uh, he made that 112 scale custom Drya. Super badass. Uh, shouts out to him. He was telling me I should get some better cutting utensils for my videos. So that one was for you, dog. Love your Drya. You're killing it. So get those on. They're going to be a little tight. But you can stretch them out. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> it's only you. Assuming these. Uh... No, bro. Somebody else is like, that's what she said. <laughs> I'm like the only image of her. I'm weak. But yeah. Oops. But again, it's still pretty solid. Like, I'm not going to lie. And then. We'll get those shoes. If they don't look right, like they're on all the way, it's usually because they're not. So <laughs> don't be afraid to stretch it out. <sighs> yeah. One more time for y'all on the back. I didn't hear. And I love that he has the pockets on these. Uh, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Go. And again, it looks weird, a little weird, but we're almost there. Then we'll take uh, just the shirt. We'll take the hands off. Oh, yeah. So at some point, I mentioned I cheated. So um, I took the hands. Oh, where are they? I'm missing them. Hold on. These. <laughs> so I um took a Sharpie and put in his uh, chain looking parts on his hands all on the left side or right hand or whatever. And then, um, here, I'll go and zoom in better. And I choose regular Sharpie on this. And then, again, this is the top green coat that I use if you're drawing anything or writing anything on a figure. Uh, best bet for that is that it doesn't smudge or smear or anything, you know? It's going to seal on there pretty good. 
it's gonna give it a bit of a gloss and i'm pretty sure that there are ones you can use that that's less of a gloss or whatever just the one i found i think it works fine oh and then i also found this it's a i don't know it's a marvel legends uh chain but it's super flexible so yeah Alrighty, so we'll take the hands off. Put the shirt on. I know you guys, uh, somebody commented that this would be perfect for a uh, Chainsaw Man custom. Without a doubt. I freaking can't wait for the anime for that to come out. I haven't even jumped into the manga or anything. Only because I'm waiting for the anime to come out. But I guess it's coming out this year, so we'll see what happens. And uh, before I actually post the photos and do the live review, I'm going to touch up this figure a little bit, just like I did with the Shigaraki. But um, I'm going to probably glue on the uh, collar together, just so that it holds its shape. And then I got the tie for him as well. So I'll probably glue that on also. Let's see, dang. Damn, it's already been 15 minutes. Hurry up. I'm weak, I know. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> so go ahead and put that on. And I'm just going to give you guys like the rough idea of how to put together the figure. This isn't what he's going to look like before the review and everything. So, because I definitely have my own preferred look for the figure. But this is just a little tutorial just in case you want to. Put something together like this and it doesn't even have to be the same figure this is just how i did it myself so <laughs> let's go let's go <laughs> Here, I, i'm stupid i'll put it on backwards stupid all right yeah it's, is it supposed to be it does not look like a you're dumb. Yeah, this is a, a live build of Christian Grey, <laughs> the figure. <laughs> no, no, dog. You're at the wrong stream. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I think I'm going to glue the um the shirt together, too. Just like I did for the offer one. Just so I don't have to worry about that coming undone. Go ahead and put hands back on. But yeah, review for this is coming fairly soon. Uh, I want to make sure I get everything else ready before I do an actual video. But the video is already being put together. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And then we'll put that back on. Looks a lot better, huh? But again, I'm going to go ahead and probably glue that together or something. And then also there is the suit jacket. But um, here, I think I'm also going to tuck a shirt in or something like that. And again, the perfect thing about how it was jointed on... Articulation is going to be perfect. You already know. Oh, and then for the suit, I um, I'm not a tailor or anything. My name, anyway, I'm not a tailor, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the 112 scale jacket is going to be a little bit big on this size of a figure. So I did have to cut the sleeves a little bit, if you can see that. Um, but if you're a pro, you probably probably already know a good way to do that. You could probably just fold in the sleeves and then just glue them in or cut them off. If you reverse it, it's probably going to be a lot easier to do that. But I cut it myself. I'm super impatient, so just went right into it. And the jacket is going to fit great. It's not my favorite look. And of course, I'll go ahead and 
tighten everything together before the review. But yeah, and then, like I said, we got his chain stuff, which is dope. And yeah, and the best thing about it is he is gonna be 112 scale. So they're literally gonna be in about the same range. And you already know Goku and the SHF body runs pretty short as it is, so. But yeah. Yo. But yeah, I'm trying to think what else, what other details did I need for putting this together? I hope it seemed pretty simple. Like again, got all this from just the statue and then got a standard body coon. Again, 15 bucks. Can't beat it. And made your own Karapika. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to think. I think that's pretty much it. This one I told you guys was going to be a little bit quicker along this time around. But uh, stay tuned for the next live build. And stay tuned for the full review of this figure. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. And peace.